I need to straighten out any construction permits on Sonny's warehouse as well as clear up any nuisance violations that Alexis might have thrown at him. Are you Sonny's counsel? In fact, yes. Well, your name isn't on any of the applications. You're not on his list of attorneys. Look, Mac, Sonny's family. I'll take care of this from now on. Mac, you need to see me? Yeah, who's uh, running Sonny's business affairs these days? That would be me. Isn't on the warehouse paperwork or anything associated with these permits. Jason's name is on almost okay, every can page. We get these citations Look, I'll take care of it. I've been handling Rick, Sonny's business since June. All right, listen to me. Listen to me. Hey, hey, hey. Business. I don't have time for this. You two work it out. Jason, touch base with me before you leave. You need to stay out of Sonny's business. Since when are you concerned with coffee warehouse? I'm a partner. You're not. You have proven that you do not have my brother's best interest. You lied interest. to his face. Don't talk about his best interest. If Sonny continues to respond to the therapy and the medication, he's going to realize that I'm the one who pushed him into treatment, Jason, and that I am on his side. Hey, if he does, that's his decision. But until then, my job is to protect Sonny from you. Present yourself as someone's attorney again. I'm going to charge you with fraud and criminal misrepresentation. <laughs> what are you, an attorney now? Why don't you run that one by Sonny? Well, he doesn't want to see you, remember? You've been waiting for this all along, no, haven't I, you? I'm, I'm, I'm waiting for the day that you pay for the hell you put Sonny and Carly oh, through. What about you, Jason? How many years did Sonny go along without Come on, Rick. Huh? Sonny listened to your little excuses. He doesn't buy them any more than I do. and to shut me out altogether, didn't you? You did that yourself? The building permits for the warehouse renovations, all signed and in order. I rescinded most of the fines. Mac, Alexis has been hassling us for months. Why, why are you helping us? The DA's office should stay out of the construction business. Look, Alexis has been wasting everyone's time, putting a lot of people out of work, creating a lot of bad feeling. But why did you take one of the permits? What changed? Juan Escobar was a dangerous person in this town. What does that have to do with the warehouse renovation, Look, Mac? Jason, Jason, if there has to be a mob in this town, I prefer you run it. You run a quiet organization. The waterfront seems safer, everything seems more stable. You're less volatile than Sonny, more consistent. Am I supposed to thank you? Don't misunderstand me. We aren't on the same side. They're just the lesser of two evils. I am. You call about the building permits? Don't bother. That's not why I asked to see you. I heard about Sonny, I heard about his bipolar condition, and Rick mentioned to me that you didn't want him to go to therapy. I don't care what Rick told you, okay? I'm fine with the treatment. I want him to get help. Good, good. I'm glad to hear that. Now, do you think that he will continue his therapy and take the medication? Well, Sonny knows that Morgan and Christina could be at risk, and he wants to do whatever it takes to set a good example for his kids. I'm really glad to hear that. Yeah, he wants the best for them. I hope you believe that, Jason. I do, yeah. Because I want you to understand why it was so important to me to have Sam stay away from you. Okay, I think I've got everything. Thank you so much for waiting. Before we go, uh, there's something that I want to discuss with you. Okay. What do you know about Sonny's bipolar disorder, and how long has Rick known about it? Well, Emily, a couple of days ago, she mentioned that Sonny was going to therapy and that he might be bipolar. That was the first you heard of it? Yeah. What about Rick? What about... I don't know. I mean, I assume he knows... He didn't say anything to you? Why didn't you say anything to because me? Because nothing had been confirmed yet. I mean, not from Emily, anyway. D is Sonny actually bipolar? Yes. I... I didn't realize that you and Emily were such good friends. Okay, why don't you just say what you really mean? You didn't realize that I was friends with Emily and you're afraid I'm only friends with her because she's Jason's sister. I'm just concerned about you, Sam, that's all. What do you want me to say? 
I, I don't know what to say, that I'm still in love with Jason. Yes, I am. And that I can't wait until maybe Sonny wakes up one morning, decides he wants the business back, because maybe Jason will want me back. There, I said it. Now can we just go back to work and skip this whole reminder that you hate the idea of me being in love with Jason? Do you know when I found out that Sonny was ill? From Carly. I, I ran into her at the hospital. She thought that I should know because it's hereditary. It's hereditary? It can be. So you see, I have two daughters and a husband, actually, who are at risk of a mental illness. And then another daughter who wants nothing more than to get back with her boyfriend who nearly got her killed. A man who is so dangerous that even he thinks that he shouldn't get back together with you. You're damn right I don't want you with Jason. You're getting over Jason, okay? But it's got to be on my timetable, not yours. And I'm really tired of apologizing to everybody for it. You have nothing to gain by holding on to him. I know. I know. My brain is telling me that, but my heart is telling me something completely different. I appreciate that. No, I don't... I don't want to fight about this, okay? I know that you've got to be really upset right now. I know it's got to be terrifying to learn what you've learned. I spent half the night on the internet researching bipolar disorder. You did? And then the other half, I spent trying to rethink every tantrum that Christina's ever thrown, and every time she starts laughing one second and then crying the next second. Okay, well, you know, I think kids laugh and then cry all the time, right? I'm sure you're right. There's a very good chance that she will not be affected by this at all. I just can't help it. I worry because I want to be able to protect her. That's how I feel about all my children. I know. I've seen the pain that Sunny goes through, and I don't want that for any of my girls. Okay. That doesn't have to happen, because if you see something, then you call the doctor, you take her to the doctors. Can you tell me anything? I mean, any kind of warning signs. I, I want to help. If you want to help, stay safe. Set a good example for her. Find some independence, Sam. Clearly what I'm trying to do. Stay away from the mob. Find a sane and a reasonable life for yourself. You have that luxury. Christina may not. Are you okay? Oh, yeah, I just, um... I heard that Sonny got an official diagnosis. He's bipolar and it can be hereditary. How'd you, how'd you find out? Alexis. Carly told her she's... She's terrified that one of her little girls could... wind up getting the illness as well. And, you know, I really started to think about it. And I, I realized that my little girl could have had it too. And that's when it became really real to me, Jason. That what she's going through, it's... It's just, you know, it's terrible. And the good thing is bipolar disorder isn't... It's not fatal. So if the kids have it, they can they can get treatment. How has that worked for Sonny? Uh, it's you know he want he wants to set a good example for his kids. Good. So he's gonna go to treatment and take his medication. Yeah. Good. I mean, it'll be good for Christina if she has him. Yeah. I mean, you you would help her. Anyway, you're, you know, you're a sister. You've been through so much, and you're still, you're still standing. You, you teach her to do the same. Wow. You always know exactly what to say. Jason, you gotta stop this, okay? You gotta stop because it would be so much easier if you were a jerk all the time and you just didn't care about I'm me. I'm always gonna care about you, Sam. Why don't you just tell me to leave town and never come back? Walk the other direction when you see me, okay? I'll, I'll try to stay away from you from now. Why? Why? What happened? I don't know. I, 
Do you know, it's my fault that Sonny's bipolar and that I'm a terrible husband and father because I didn't let Alexis in on the whole thing from the very beginning. And I'm also a very bad person because I'm trying to help my only brother. You want to hear my big crime against Alexis? Uh, I didn't improve my day. Go ahead. I didn't tell her that Sonny was bipolar either. Really? You're not normally this upset unless it has something to do with Jason. Please leave Jason out of it. I'm sorry. I just... No, seriously, I am not defending him for once, okay? I'm just, I'm tired of following him around. I'm tired of waiting for something that is never going to happen. Well, do you really mean that? Yes, I mean it. I finally realized that Jason and I will never be back together. I just want it to be over now. This pain has got to stop. Well, it's not going to be easy, so... I know, no, I know, I Rick. I, I don't think you do. You're going to have to do something that will change everything between you and Jason irrevocably forever.